welcome back to my channel and today I filmed this dramatic look for you and I filmed it because I was going through my closet and I found this dress that I'm wearing and I haven't worn it yet still the tags on it and it's a really cute dress that I had forgotten about and I figured um, why not film a look to go with the dress so that's what I did so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and um, stick around if you want to see how it's done I'm going to start off by priming my eyes as usual and this is so that the colors will be bold and long lasting. I'm going to take this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and create a dark base for my eyeshadows. Real Techniques brushes are synthetic, which makes them great for blending out cream products. Now I'm just going to take this blending brush from Sigma and Buck from the Naked One palette and start applying that to the crease, and this is my transition color. I'm just going to apply a matte brown shadow to the inner corner of the eye and this one is Mocha from Makeup Geek. Also from Makeup Geek is this matte black shadow called Corrupt and this I'm just going to go ahead and place all over the outer corner of the eye, so about two thirds of the way in actually. Now I'm just going to take that same blending brush and blend everything together. And when you're working with dark shadows, you're probably going to get some fallout, but that's okay. Just dust it away and we can always conceal later. Now I am going to take some more of that buck from the Naked One palette and put it into the crease just because you might lose some of the intensity when you're blending out the other colors. Now I'm going to take this flat shader brush from Sigma and the Naked Basics palette and I'm just using the lightest color out of that palette to highlight my brow bone. You can never blend too much when you're working with dark shadows. Now for the sparkle. So I'm going to use this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Spray it on this synthetic Sonia Kashuk brush and then I'm just going to dip into that Inglot pigment and apply it to the very inner corner of the eye. And we can't forget about the lower lash line so we're going to take some more of that matte brown and just run it all the way across the bottom lash line. We don't want it to be too one dimensional so we're going to go in with that corrupt color again from Makeup Geek and just run that very closely to the bottom lash line and that's just going to give us some more depth. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this black gel liner from Inglot and line the top lid. I am going to wing it out a bit in the outer corner and then also extend it a little bit in the inner corner. Don't worry if you make a mistake because you can just take one of these pointed cotton buds and kind of clean it up and then conceal a little bit. 
Now I'm just going to take this L'Oreal Extra Intense Eyeliner and line both the top and bottom waterline. I didn't really want this to be like a cat eye look so I took some more of that black shadow and a pencil brush and just filled in the outer corner just so I can still get that shape but not look like a winged eyeliner look. Now for mascara. For the bottom lashes I used the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black and for the upper lashes I used the Revlon Lash Potion. I'm just going to take some of this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and put that under my eye to brighten it up and I'm just kind of doing it in that triangle shape and that's really going to help make the inner portion of your face lighter and brighter. I'm going to set it with my usual L'Oreal Hydra Perfect setting powder and a Real Techniques setting brush. The lashes I'm wearing are the Ardell Wispies. So I actually did some pretty serious contouring but I didn't realize my camera wasn't recording it. Uh, but I did notice in time to show you the highlighter I'm wearing. And this is from Physicians Formula and it just has a really pretty gold tone. It's not like a traditional super light highlighter, but this would be great on medium to dark skin tones. And also if you just want a little bit more glowy look. I'm just going to go ahead and use some of this Nivea Lip Butter to prep my lips. And it smells so good. It is raspberry and rose. Love this stuff. The lipstick I'm using is from Revlon and it's called Nude Attitude. Every time I edit videos where I'm putting on lipstick, I just really hate it because I don't think anybody out there can make a pretty face while putting on lip products. And then to finish it off, I just threw some gloss on and this is NARS Turkish Delight. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.